Welcome back. My name's Gorg, and today we're doing tower defense again. But this time, better? Hopefully? We'll see. For context, last week I made a video where I made a tower defense game in World Box um, through the use of the golden brains and how the zombies pretty much walk straight towards them no matter what. First things first, here is where the zombies are going to try to get to. We're gonna go one, two, oops. Oh no, it's not lined up right. Three, four. Okay, you're thinking, what What the heck are you doing, Gorg? You, you've lost your mind. Well, I don't know if this will make that much of a difference, but I'm thinking that this might be a slightly better way to do the lives. Say only one zombie makes it through, they'll go to whichever brain they want to go to, and then they'll eat that one brain, and so we'll lose one life. Whereas before, we had all the brains in one spot, um, so they would just go and eat all the brains at once. So there really wasn't a life function. Okay. Like I said, you can put the zombies wherever you want and they will always go towards the golden brains no matter where they are. So we can basically control their path. So that is exactly what we're gonna do here. We're gonna make a slightly larger path than before, but only slightly because all it really does is increase how long each wave will take. So that's gonna be it longer than last time, but it's not insane either. Also, we did too big of a map here, but that's okay. Now, we will set up the basic layout of the enemy waves. We can always do more after that if we want, but let's at least plan the first 10 waves and the 10th one being a boss wave yet again. Go like that, that way they path a little bit sooner. Okay, there's our course. So, as we did last time, we will set up the towers first. So we'll put one on the corner, try to keep them very tower defensey. Let's actually go by four. Give them a little space to walk around. Okay, we got 12 total this time. So last time, what we did was we kind of set all of our options aside, which I think we're gonna do again today. So we have 12 towers we can build this time. Um, and then let's do the reinforcements too. These are gonna be things you can use once for a wave and that's it. Now let's make one really big thing we can do. So let's figure these out. We will be dragging these over as we need them. For anyone that didn't watch my last video, let me give you an example of what a wave will look like. So a wave, for example, would be like 20 chickens, you know, and then the next wave up will be some wolves and some cats you know, a little bit harder of a wave than before, and then we'll go up until the last wave will be like rhinos and dragons and buffaloes and stuff. That'll be that. This looks good. I feel like we're we're up in our game from last time. Let's do humans again. Okay, so items, um, bows. That was something we struggled with last time is we made it so that you can spend action points to upgrade, but since the staves are so much more powerful than the bows, it kind of became unfair. A better way to do it would just be to start the bows at iron. Now start them at silver. So we put four bows, two ice staffs, three druids, three necromancers. Because what we learned is that the ice staff is very strong, it does the most damage, and it freezes. So this is the most powerful, therefore we only get two of them. Those are the least powerful, therefore we get four of them. And then these are kind of middle ground, so we get um, three of each. Although the necromancer staff is pretty strong, it's just that, I don't know, it's attack speed slow or something? Okay, let's make some ground soldiers. So for these guys, they're gonna be pretty weak. Let's give them iron. So they got some longevity to them. So we can bring these guys in however we want, as many as a t at a time as we want, but we have to delete them at the end of the wave. So if we spawn in three of them, drop them in the middle here, and then they wipe everyone out super easy, doesn't matter that they survived, we gotta delete them. On this one, let's do a little bit more of an elite squad here. Let's actually just do three of each for these ones, because these are gonna be our big boys. Let's make three swords with adamantine armor, there you go. And then maybe three bows with adamantine armor. There you go, one time use, good for you guys. And then something big we can do. I'm thinking, man, again, I wish we could, I wish we could control this a little bit better. I wanna say we can use bombs. How much does this do? A decent amount. So let's give ourselves some bombs then. And we will just mark them by this. So we'll say one, two, three, four, five. So those are how many times we can use grenades. So the rules we had last time was we had two actions, but upgrading costed a half action. So I guess maybe a better way to say it is we have four actions, but spawning someone costs two, 
upgrading costs one. Maybe that's how we'll say it. So for the first wave, let's get an ice staff out here immediately in a good spot. Let's go here. And then someone that does good damage, let's get a druid here. And let's put a druid here. I think that his range goes far enough to where he can shoot over here. So just so everyone gets the idea of where this is gonna, how this is gonna go, wave one, it always takes them a moment to realize, ooh, there's golden brains. And then once they figure it out, <laughs> they all start going. Bump up the speed a teensy bit here. All right, I don't even care if they do figure it out. <laughs> They're way too slow for this. This will be plenty. Easy. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Nice. Why are you not shooting that guy, huh? Oh, he's short-sighted. Oh, no. Uzi? Lil Uzi. Okay, easy win. So, next wave. Let's bump it up a little bit, because I think I might have underestimated it. Let's put some more wolves. Um, let's put some more monkeys. Um, not so much that it's going to be too easy, but that... I don't know. Maybe it will be. Oh, we'll find out. Let's get a bow, because they've got really nice range. Let's put him here. And let's get the other ice staff, so that he can start leveling up. Are you good there, bro? Okay, good. It looks like you're standing outside. You can't do that. Get back in there. There we go. Okay. All right. Wave two. Here we go. Fast wave. Okay. Okay. So he's got barely enough range. So a little bit of damage ahead of time. That's nice. I know I just added to this wave, but now I'm worried that <laughs> it's going to be too hard. No, they'll be fine. They're spread out enough. Maybe. Come on. Take them down. Whew. Okay. Appropriately difficultied because that was just about right. The weird delay on them starting to fire, though, like this guy let them get to like right here before he started shooting. So I thought maybe he wasn't in range. But then after he started shooting, he just kept going. So they were like in his range the whole time. He just didn't really feel like it, I guess. OK, let's go ahead and get this one open. This wave looks significantly easier than the last one, even though I just added monkeys to it. So let's just add a few more. Um, let's actually adjust the rest of the waves for it because since our map is longer than last time, these waves probably would have been good for last time. But since uh, the course is like twice as long, we got to make the waves like twice as hard. That looks good. Just add a couple bears to all the waves. Huh? All right, that should be good. I'd rather it be too hard than too easy, honestly. I like me a challenge. Okay, let's get a necromancer on the board here. And let's upgrade our staff here by two. That is all of our actions. Proceed. Okay, they're about medium speed. They're not fast or slow. And there's a lot of them, boys. It's gonna be tricky. Yeah, the necromancers are good, but they're not that good. They fire kind of slow, and I, f I find that they miss pretty often. Here we go. Nice. Uh-oh. Clear him out. The druid honestly is really strong too. It's the fact that it shoots two at once that I think is kind of underrated. It's the area effect. Oh, wait, what the heck? He got turned into a zombie. Can we cure him? Nope, oh, that killed him. Okay, that was our ice staff. Interesting. Okay, well, that shouldn't happen, but I knew that it could happen because it's happened in the past, but for whatever reason, it never happened last time. So the next wave is a bunch of hyenas and some monkeys and foxes let's move another bow guy in let's put this guy on this corner it's a good placement uh, we have both ice staffs let's do one more bow guy maybe early on right there bring it really fast wave yeah i think it was a good call putting the bow guys at silver bows because they were pretty much useless with the regular bows it's tough but it's not impossible Ooh, close one wow okay Let's bring one more druid out, put him here early on so he gets that area damage. This wave shouldn't be too bad. So let's put a couple more rats in there. Okay, we got two more actions left. Let's upgrade this guy on the corner by one and then this druid by one as well. Boom, let's go. Okay, the alligators are pretty slow. So we got the hyenas or whatever coming down. Rats kind of paving the way and then the alligator invasion they've got 250 or just 200 health they're so slow it, it really is speed that works well against this setup like there's no way they're going to make it all the way through because all my towers have so much time to shoot them which is why the bears and the rhinos did so well last time because they're really fast and they have a lot of health so this wave might actually be tough although i don't remember how fast the bunnies are but we'll find out okay let's put a bow guy here and let's upgrade this ice staff by two i think because i like his placement there we go keeps panicking me because they keep seeing them take damage but i think it's just oh it's hunger my bad i forgot to turn that off so sorry let's heal everyone <laughs> i did not mean it 
I forgot to feed you. I'm so sorry. Here we go. It's the bunnies. Okay, they're pretty fast. Penguins are on the slow side, but we'll see. It's a lot of bunnies. Oh, 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 oh pause it. He got infected. Did you see that? He was twitching. It's weird that that keeps happening. I didn't expect it to keep happening, otherwise I would have done this earlier, but let's just put immune on everyone. Okay, they did not get very far. I thought that was going to be a challenge, but it was not. We have not used any of these yet because we really haven't needed to. Part of me wants to add to these waves more, but they look, they look frightening. I think that we might be in a good place here. Let's add some more wolves. That should be too much for us, but I, like I said, I'd rather it be a challenge than be too easy. So let's put Necromancer down here on the corner. And I want to upgrade people, but I kind of want to get them all out first. We got our last Necromancer here, and then we got to upgrade. Okay, next wave. Wave number seven. We got frogs, bears, a lot of bears. Okay, this might be too hard. This is a crazy wave. This will be the ultimate challenge. I'm actually going to bring in some of our guys here. Let's bring in three spear dudes. Put them on. Let's put them here. Oh, man, look at that. They're They're crazy. Fight for your lives. Delay them as long as you can for the druid to do some work. There we go. Slowing a bunch of them down. Nice. The bears are so fast and they have... Oh, 150. I thought they had 200. Come on. Don't let him get past you. Woof. Last line of defense there. His first kill. So it's definitely getting tougher. <laughs> All right. Last person on the board goes down here. Kind of weak placement, but not terrible. And then let's upgrade this guy twice one two because this is great that last wave scared me i i i'm worried these next ones are going to be too hard but let's see how they handle it we got a super fast wave yeah this is this is tough okay just take all the w wolves out luckily the rhinos are medium speed so they're gonna be taken care of but the buffaloes are fast and they have 200 so they're actually more they're actually more difficult than bears then because they're faster and they have more health Good work. Yeah, see, this trio right here is really good. Okay. We have four actions just for upgrades. Let's actually look at our kill counts here. We got 32, 44, 23, 101. I underestimated him. It doesn't even seem like that good a placement. But let's, let's level him up by one at least. Two kills. 31 kills. Three kills. Let's put you up by one. This guy's got a really good spot. Let's put him up by one more. Max him out. So let's put this guy up by one. Max him out. Let's put two guys on the board for this one. We might need more, honestly. But I want to save as much as we can for the next wave. Because that's going to be crazy. This is going to be crazy, but there's a chance we could do... They didn't do anything. There's a wolf inside. Not okay. Let's bring in all of them. Let's put some of them here. Some of them here. So we have all of our heroes, all six of them, for the last wave. So those guys are wiped out. These guys are running the wrong direction, or at least this one is. Stop that. I know what you're planning to do. You're planning to destroy the brains. Now that would technically save us all, but that's not what we're here to do. Okay, our people are all wiped out, except for this one. Gone. These guys are all getting trapped down here. Come on. Oh, no. It's happening. We're losing. Okay, we got to put in some heroes. Let's bring in one of these. So this guy's gone. They all got kind of distracted for a second. Dang. All right, we lost three lives on that one. Rest in peace. Okay, well, that lowers any amount of confidence I had for this next wave, because this is like that wave, but twice as big. <laughs> so, but hey, we got five people to put on the board, and we have four upgrades to spend. So let's go, let's make sure our druids are maxed out, because that's that area damage one, two, is really good. Bump you up by one, two, honestly. I might have to do that. That guy's maxed out. Yeah, both of our... Oh, wait, that one's not. Let's lower you by one so that we can boost this guy by one. We got to be really strategic about this because a lot of the times, the best thing that these troops do is just confuse them for a good five or so seconds because even after they kill them, that kind of takes them a second to remember what they were doing originally. That might be good for us. Let's actually put this guy here. I don't know. I'm worried we're just going to get wiped out. I think I'm going to hold off on the dragon for now because I don't think they can beat this. Here we go. Holy smokes, guys. Just four upgrades since last wave is not going to be enough to change much. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Stop them for as long as you can. That's all of our uh, troops there. Let's slow this one down to normal speed. 
If we can get the whole experience in real time. It's this blob of bears and buffaloes, and then if they even do take that out, they have all these sheep and rhinos. Okay, clear out the wolves so that you can fight the real targets. If they can defeat this, they might have time to work their way through all this. But I don't know if they can do this. Yeah, I don't think so. We don't have anything. Oh, we have our grenades. We have five grenades to use. I almost forgot. Okay, can we use them without blowing up our own people? Boom, that's two. Oh, no. <laughs> it didn't kill them, it just launched them. Okay, that's technically three, four. I mean, it still killed them in the sense that they're not going to get very far. Okay, last grenade. There we go. Okay, we did it. It was a good tactic to save those, but I actually did that on accident. I totally forgot that we gave ourselves grenades. Okay, we win. Good news. That means we get to do a uh, crazy wave just to test to see how far we can take this. It's funny because it doesn't look like that many, but it's because it's so spread out. But once we get going and they start funneling into one row, gonna be crazy. Okay, so are you maxed out? One, two. He is now. Let's upgrade this guy. One. Let's upgrade this guy. He's got a good placement. Let's go up by that. All right, that'll do it. Here we go. We'll do one time speed again. We got our one life left. No bombs. Oh no, the dragons are coming in first. Uh-oh. Kill the dragon, kill the dragon, come on. If we can kill them off before they kill any of our towers. Okay, there's one down? No, just kidding. Wiped out our ice staff. Kill him. Oh no. Okay, one's dead. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. Put a new one over here. <laughs> I guess. And we'll bomb the crap out of this guy to kill him. Okay. We lost our archer we just upgraded, our white staff, and then I think a necromancer? Yeah. Our other necromancer. Or no, was that an archer? Either way, he's dead. You know, the wave's big, but it's spaced out to where we might be able to just kill it a little bit at a time, but we're missing some of our biggest damage dealers and some key locations. So I'm not so sure. Come on, boys. Let's see what you got. Yeah, the Necromancer, he does good damage, but look, he missed four times in a row. Yeah, we lose for sure. There's no way. They actually cleaned out almost everyone else, though. So good, good job to them. Okay, here's what we're going to do next. This is kind of like the bonus. We're just having a good time uh, step here. We're going to double up in each tower. There we go. Our biggest wave yet. We got one life left. I said we've got one life left. Here they come. Uh-oh, big boy. Oh, no. We should not have done another dragon. What was I thinking? Oh, the dragon's way too strong. It's funny, the first time we played, it really was not that strong. Get rid of it. Dang, we just lost four of our guys right away like that. Okay, well, whatever. That, uh, maybe we won't need them. <laughs> We're gonna need them. We're gonna need them so bad. Look at this. Fight. 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 Give it everything you've got. Look at them taking them out over here, though. Such a strong corner here. We might be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Although we have two empty spots down here, so we gotta kill them before then. Dang. Well done. I think we did it. So I think that the Druid Towers... Druid people are stronger than the Ice Staff, the White Staff. Because last time I was thinking White Staff's the strongest because it does do the most damage, typically speaking. But the Druid Staff does like multiple hits at once, whereas the White Staff is a single hit. It does have a chance of freezing, so that, that's an added bonus. But the Druid Staff also entangles them, which is pretty much freezing them. So Druid Staff, I think, is the best out of these. I think the best staff as far as damage goes is the Doom Staff, but you know. That's that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I do like the idea of doubling up on towers. It kind of makes it so we can handle a higher difficulty. I will go ahead and post um, this map on Steam Workshop right now. I very roughly outlined the rules in the description of how to play just for anyone that didn't watch the video. Although I did add a bunch of enemies to this um, for the video. So this will need to be increased uh, on your own. So I probably should have done that first, honestly, but oh well. I'll leave it up to your own judgment. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate you for being here and hope you enjoyed Tower Defense Part 2. And I will see you guys next time.